woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I rush out, bitch, now I'm focused on your brain. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. Okay. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. 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 Welcome back, TNK Squad, aka TNK Cuisines and Treats. It is your girl Kiana, aka Queen Key, off in this thing. Hey, y'all. And we back with a cooking video. Um, this is Kiana's cooking video. As y'all know how I do, I cook the stuff and then I bring Travis over and let him taste it. So today we're going to be doing a barbecue salmon with mashed potatoes and kale. Saute kale. So I already got my potatoes boiling. I used these um, jumbo russet potatoes. Um, I did four because they big. So that should be enough. They're already in the pot boiling back there. Um, Travis already, my sous chef, already cut up my salmon for me because it was a long um what you call it uh, it was a whole yeah, it was a whole yeah i guess a whole half of fish I yeah know. but he cut it up for me it was already was it was already today. skinned but it was whole yeah half yeah i had him to cut it up for me while i was at work today how many is in here it's five okay we got five pieces y'all so what we gonna be doing You didn't get the, the um the bones out. Now, I ain't going through all that. They supposed to get that out themselves. So they supposed to be filleted so already. What we gonna do is um I need something to put this on. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna put this on this tray right here. So I'm gonna put the fish on the tray. And I'm going to season it. Okay. You hmm. had a hard time cutting this fish. Why well, you said it looked like it? Yeah. It looked like you didn't slice clean, girl. Yeah, some of them going clean. We got to get a new knife, man. All right. So we got five pieces right here. They look thicker than I normally cut them. Hey. But, um... We're going to roll with it today. Yep. Kiana usually cut the fish. I, I didn't know how thick or thin you wanted them cut. I mean, you know, salmon is, it'll get overwhelming if you're eating a lot Too of much, it. yeah. So you you don't want it a whole lot. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to season it with season salt because I'm doing barbecue um, chicken, I mean salmon, and I'm just going to do a glaze for it. Just some sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. So I'm just going to season it both sides with the, um, that sounds like something you'll have at a restaurant with the, um, season salt. Now I'm going to let y'all know this. When I cook at home, I think I gotta, I think I gotta tell y'all this because some people got some issues on how I cook in my damn kitchen. <laughs> So when I'm cooking for my family and my damn kids, um, what you laughing? Girl, not, not the damn kitchen, <laughs> not damn kids. <laughs> when I'm cooking for my family and like I said, my damn kids, um, I use my hands. My hands are clean. They are um washed with some Ajax right here. So I don't need no damn gloves. <laughs> Now, when I start selling my plates and I let y'all see me cook the meals on camera, For that's other when people. you see gloves and you see me changing up the gloves every time I touch something. But until then, you're going to get these damn bare hands. <laughs> so, <laughs> excuse me for that. So, um, we're going to put these on in the um, pot. We're going to have... Travis, come over here and bring y'all close to us. And I'm going to take that kale in a minute, but I'm, we're going to do this salmon real quick because we just want to sear it. All right, so this pan 
pan right here can go in the oven. This is my favorite new pan. Um, I forget how you say the name, but the whole pan can go in the oven, y'all. I love it. I love it because it leaves the grill marks. Yeah, so that's why I'm using this one. I want a whole pot set of this, but mm -hmm. that pot set is like three hundred dollars. And we'll get it. We'll get it. I don't know if I want to spend that. I mean, you know, I think I think we'll get it because we're gonna start, really start investing in that in in the cuisines and treats channel again. Yeah. So we we'll get it. So I already got my stove, you know, going. Got my oven preheat to three seventy five. We just gonna sear these. Um, pieces of salmon. We are not going to cook them all the way on the stove. We're going to sear them and put them in the oven. So, the stove is hot. The oven is preheated. We're going to go ahead and do this real quick. Say none stick, but I want to spray that anyway. Put that down now. So I'm gonna spray the top with it because when I flip it, I ain't got time to be doing that. So we're trying to get some grill marks real quick on that side. It's thick, it ain't gonna cook too fast anyway because it's thick fish. But we want that grill mark on there. I'm gonna look at it real quick. If you're impatient like me, you don't want to take a piece. They ain't giving me grill marks. Just take that yet. middle one. That's going to be the hottest point. Not yet. I don't want to cook it all the way, so I'm going to go ahead and just flip it now. It got a little bit of mark on it. A little bit. Oh, you got a nice grill mark. That would really like put that, that put that heat on the air. Oh, that one came real good. So we're gonna let this side. You, got, you gotta move your um the pan around to to the hot points here. We're gonna let this do that on that side. And then we're gonna put them things in the oven. And like I say, y'all, we just gonna be doing bar sweet baby raised barbecue sauce as a barbecue blade. I don't want it. You're really supposed to put a little bit of sweet baby ray, some brown sugar, and some maple syrup. But I don't want it to be too sweet. I think that's going to be too sweet. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want that. So. You still want to taste salmon. Yeah. I don't want to cover the taste up because, you know, we all like salmon in, the, in this house. So. We, we don't want to cook it on the stove, like I said. So now we're going to put it in the oven. And then I'm just going to put it in the oven and we're going to come back and I'm going to show y'all me doing these um, kale. All right, y'all. So I just went and got some frozen kale. Then get fresh kale. Well, it's fresh, but I didn't get it where um um cutting it up myself. I wanted to let them do it so it'll be easy. So I'm just going to put this in my... Um, thing right here. And I use this when I'm making salads and stuff to wash it off. That's 
to wash it off, you know, if it got a little dirty now. The girls be amazed when I do this with lettuce, because you can see all the dirt come off the lettuce. But the water be brown. Yeah, they be like, what in the world? But a lot of people don't like to eat it raw like this. You can though. So I'm gonna do this other side. Can you give me that bowl? So I can pour this kale in there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna do the same thing, y'all. And when we come back, we're gonna be heading to the stove so y'all can see me saute. All right, y'all. So, we got our hot pan. We're gonna put some garlic in there. Give me a spoon, real quick. fresh garlic or you can use this already so I'm just on just enough garlic I'm going to use right there. three tablespoons of olive oil tablespoons of white wine. Don't do that. I dropped it in there. White wine vinegar. Two tablespoons of that. Or you can use bread. Alright. Put your kale in. So you put your kale in, y'all, and we gonna let this saute down. Then I'm gonna bring y'all back and show you what it looks like. y'all so we took the salmon out the oven I'm just gonna like I said put a little barbecue sauce on them this back in the oven after I do this you know to just let it set up the little coating on it now come and get this out just pour that it's a piece of fish that broke out barbecue sauce you just want a little glaze on them and we got five pieces because we got five people we don't 
don't try to do leftovers well with with seafood. We don't really do a lot of leftovers. They kind of don't taste the same to me the next day. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big, I'm not a very big leftover eater anyway. Me. Okay, so there we have it. And then we're going to put these in the oven just to let the glaze, you know, set up on there real quick. A little piece right there. Good. I'm gonna put this in the oven. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. And here go our kale. That big old bag got down to this. So it's done. Now, if you're doing fresh kale, you cutting it up yourself. You won't have all them stems in it. But like I said, it's fresh. But I just didn't feel like cutting it up myself. And it's going to give you a feel of a collard green, but, you know, a different type of, this is different. You ain't never had kale. You can cook them like collard greens, or you can just saute them like I did. So that's done. We're going to take that off. And these got them giant ass potatoes from Walmart still ain't um, smashed like ain't done yet so we're gonna let them boil a little bit longer and then we're gonna come back and bring everything together all right y'all i'm finally done it is hot in here because that oven was on and my dryer is running at the same time so it's burning up in here as y'all can see i am finished that is my plating right there Y'all want to see up close? That's my plating. That's my Travis trying to dominate okay. me. That's my plating, and we're gonna let Travis come over here and um try this out. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. I don't think he ever had sauteed kale. I never before, had kale so this before. This will be his first time having. Yeah, I never had kale before. It tastes. It looked like collard greens mixed with spinach, kind of. What it looked like. Just this kale because I never had it before. It's not bad. It's good. It tastes good. To you. It tastes good. It, like I said, it it's a little more like spinach and collars will be a little more, like a lot more softer. You got a little more crunch to it. But yeah, good flavor is good. I, be, I think it would be better if I would have just got the kale myself. Mm. So you don't have them stems in there. But the stems taste good. It's still good too. It's yeah. good to me. Mm. I didn't know how, when you said barbecue salmon, I didn't know how the barbecue sauce would taste on the salmon. Mm -hmm. It just sounded like something that would be at a restaurant, but that barbecue sauce, it goes with this. It, it goes with it. It's good. Okay. Very good. All right, y'all. So there y'all have it. This has been an episode of Dinner with the Squad. Featuring your girl Queen Key and your boy Travis, and um, we're gonna have more cooking videos coming out for y'all. Remember to go sub to the TNK Cuisines and Treats channel. Link is in the description below. When we hit a thousand mm. subscribers, that's when we're gonna give y'all that gumbo video. Yeah, we're gonna give y'all the gumbo. I got the lasagna coming back. Oh, cause you did that since we started. Yeah. Like, all the OGs gonna know what dinner with squad is. That's when we first started cooking. It was on. And it was on the original channel. Yeah, it was on yeah. the original channel. Yeah. So they got have it, y'all. We finna go ahead and get on up out of here. If y'all want to see um different type of cooking videos, let us know what y'all want to see in the comment section below. Make sure y'all like y'all comment and y'all share this video. With that being said, we will catch y'all on the next video. Peace. Love you.
Like Travis liked it. That's good. How much you would pay for it? For that meal? Mm hmm. That's about that's about a forty dollar plate. Right. Oh, you talking about like just you? No, I'm talking about a restaurant. Oh yeah, the restaurant. You talking about like just if you cook that like for certain for people? Mm-hmm. That's about a twenty dollar plate. That's a big so piece of something. Yeah. I didn't show y'all how to make the um, mashed potatoes, but I just mashed them and put butter in it, salt and pepper. I mean, I thought that was like common for everybody. I don't know if everybody make their mashed potatoes like. I make mine. Since you ain't gone, but um, I think this come, and I might try to do something different next time I make mashed potatoes. Do like a um, a garlic chive type of mashed potatoes. Kind of experiment with them. Okay. All right, we're gonna get on out of here for real this time. As long as you keep talking, I'm gonna keep on eating. Peace, y'all.